we are recording. Who would like to recap last week for the masses? I was hungover for most of it. <laughs> well, in, in the game, not in the you know, real life. Mm-hmm, sure, in the game. <laughs> so yeah, last last week because uh, Dan kind of forgot we were playing. It's okay, it's okay, Dan. We had it was an extended weekend. I understand. Uh, last week it was fairly much, pretty much an RP session uh, where Dan's character uh, Ernest was. Uh, incapacitated for the entire session, uh, hungover, passed out, drunk, and very broke. Uh, but the rest of the group, uh, Grimmelf got his axe back. Is it Verna? Zero. Yeah. Uh, you know I'm gonna keep fucking that up. <laughs> got his axe, Vera back. Uh, Lily fed the children the staple of bread and cheese. Uh... Leo picked up um, healer's kit so he could finally finally tend wounds correctly and Gar just walked around the city kind of checking stuff out um, you then uh, you then headed to check out uh, the um, the old lady to see if she was actually alive or not after taking care of Martin trading the soul uh, she was very much alive she didn't look I mean she's still old and she's still decrepit but she's alive uh, you then went to speak with uh, the next morning you went to speak with uh, Thomas your um, uber driver as Peter calls him <laughs> Uh, who is going to be taking you via via carriage to Paris, where you will drop off Kit and Cade Bousset, uh with their aunt. Um, so we pick up where we left off. You are outside of the Merchant Guild headquarters, uh, where Tom is waiting patiently for you to arrive, uh, which you do, and... Leo brought Tom a croissant and I think something else, did you not? I don't remember. <laughs> it, it was whatever from the bakery. It was okay. like whatever. I remember it was Lisa croissant. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, and Ernest is now in new clean clothes. <laughs> yeah, so taking a bath. Yes. Um, so, Tom... Uh, that's right. Tom has begun to head you west towards the Paris gate. Um, when you reach the gate, uh, Grimolf, Ernest, and Gar, uh, recognize, uh, an individual standing at the gate who waves you down and says, um, Hey, um, so, uh, do you mind if... We travel with you. Uh, who is this character? You, How do we recognize him? You recognize him as Sam, the traveling uh, traveling entertainer whom you met at the uh, the festival. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull the group aside a little bit and be like, I've had a funny ping about this guy from the beginning, so I'm still hungover, but, you know, whatever that's worth to you. I don't you like can it. provide us with a barrel of ale. I have no problem him sharing a carriage with us. Do you say that to Sam? Uh, sure. All right. Sam takes a moment. Uh, he kind of reaches down to his belt and and uh, kind of hefts his coin pouch a little bit. Says, "Uh, yeah, I, I suppose I could uh I could get you a barrel of ale. That's, that's not a 
That doesn't seem like it'd be too too difficult. And at this point, Grimmel, but well, what um, are you waiting for? And just can we into the carriage? And he and he has a he has a, a strange look on his face. Can we maybe uh, pick it up in the next town over? Grimolf looks very downtrodden. Now we're gonna need some gold. I mean, we we could pick it up here, but I we I kind of gotta get out of town quick. And why do you have to get out of town quickly? So <laughs> the uh the uh the the, the bar owner owner's daughter that I've been staying at and entertaining at. He, yeah, the, the owner kind of caught me and his daughter in a very compromising position. And, uh, I've, I've got to go now. <laughs> and since you're headed out of town, I've been just waiting for somebody who looks like they can handle themselves on the road. Because, you know, I'm down a troop member. Hmm. What kind of money you got to pay for this? I mean, I'm already offering you a barrel of ale. Yeah. Just not from here. Uh. Uh, is, is there like an insight check? I, I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure that he's probably telling the truth, but I just want to see if he's got any other outside motives besides that. Oh, sure, let me look and see what the check will actually be. It's, um, I think it's going to be under communication or perception. Let us find out. Do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. I have perception, empathy. Is that emotions of others? <laughs> um yeah, do a do an empathy check. Aye aye. Yeah, he um I mean, he seems to be telling the truth. Um you know he has been performing in various taverns around town. Um you haven't been to all of them, so you have no idea what taverns might have a owner that has a daughter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he he kind of seems he kind of seems like he's a uh, he's looking around. Um, it almost seems like he's he's keeping an eye out. So when the when when the when his opinion the wrong person shows up, he can bolt. Does he look armed at all? No, he has um. He's he's dressed very gaudily, um, and he's fairly well dressed. He has with him uh, on his back he has a case that looks like it probably holds a um, a stringed instrument of some sort, and he's got um, three other individuals with him: uh, two men, two other men, and a woman. Um, all of them dressed pretty. Pretty god awful, like just gaudy colors, uh, almost gypsy like. And they, how far did they say they have to go? Um, they're they're looking to go as far as you are. Uh, um, but I think I think Sam did mention Paris. Uh, so group talk. Um, I'm still a little bit weird about this dude. He seems a little bit off to me, but, you know, I guess it's whatever you guys want to do. I suppose we could help out somebody in trouble. Where are we headed? No, we got oh, a free uh, now. Yeah, a free barrel. All right, we're headed to Paris to go drop off uh, Kit and Cat. Cade. <laughs> Kit and Cade. It's the less... The less fun way of saying that. <laughs> the, like the correct way of saying it. 
Yeah, we're gonna go drop off Kit and Cade with like their aunt, I think. Yes. Yes, you are. So we'll we'll keep we'll have two people on watch with with them at all times, just to make sure that you know they don't steal our stuff. But if you want me to take one of their blood so we can track them down on the DL on the DL as we travel, you should probably do that just in case <laughs> things go wrong. They. Poison the wine to drug. They drug the wine to make us go to sleep and then steal our stuff in the night. Leo has a big smile. We're like, okay. <laughs> oh dear lord! <laughs> you guys have created a monster. So, uh, what do you say to Sam? Sure. Excellent. And uh, he and his compatriots. Like climb up into the back of the the wagon carriage thing, which is now um, pretty full, because you've got you got you guys. I'm assuming one of you is sitting with the driver. Um, you got the two children, and now you have four more adults. So, ten people in the back of a wagon. Oh, the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Except for <laughs> you might not get dysentery. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, one of us is going to get dysentery. <laughs> Not me. And that's when the group died. Uh, er Ernest may have caught something. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Ernest may have caught something. Well, it's like, I'm glad I specialized in healing magic. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, Sam and his troop uh, climb up into the wagon with you, and uh, Tom begins to head out the gate. Um, you get about, uh, about 500 feet from the gate when you hear a ruckus coming back from Troyes, uh, and you see about 20 people all running towards the gate, yelling uh, that... Uh, that that uh, swindler Sam better not show his face in town again, or he'll get what's coming to him. Would you guys like to do anything? I accidentally I stabbed Sam with my scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> how how do you accidentally stab Sam with your scalpel? I was looking at my medical supplies. I was sharpening my scalpel, and when we hit a bump on the road, I asked my arm wildly just swung and nipped him. And I was okay. like, oops, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, so you... Alright. So you're looking at your healer's kit, fucking around with your scalpel, God knows why. Sam looks over and says, are you should be... Are you sure you should be playing with sharp objects in a moving vehicle? You're right. You're right. And sure I enough, cover that. Sure enough, <laughs> Tom does hit a hit a rut in the road, and the wagon jumps. And you take your opportunity to like, oh dear God, and like, shit's falling out of your healer's kit. Uh, the scalpel does um. Does nick the back of Sam's hand as he's resting it like on his knee? Uh, he's like, I told you, you probably shouldn't be playing with sharp objects in a moving vehicle. You're right. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I quickly grab my stuff and I like <laughs> sit the farthest away from him. And I, just, like, I, I hunch over to a corner so he doesn't see. And I like spread the blood on a paper and put it in my pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gonna have to make a check for that. Ah, uh, fine. You are gonna uh, have then to I'll make take a rag. I'll take a rag and that. Clean it. I mean, no, the fact that you're trying to I'll hide it, you're gonna have to make a check for it. I'm not gonna hide it. I, I'll take a oh. rag and I clean my blade and be like, I'm so sorry. I put the rag in my pocket. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> a weird guy just carrying bloody rags around. And I wink at Ernest, the saying, did it, like, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, um, yeah, 
you are you are now on your way from Troyes to Paris. Um, the road uh, seems to follow the river uh, for the most part. Uh, here and there, it um, it curves further north away from it, um, and the trip is fairly uh, fairly quiet for the most part. There are um, regular patrols on the road uh, between you know the two cities and um, however uh, on your th- third yeah on your third day um, everybody make a perception hearing Grimwolf hears all Grimwolf does hear all <laughs> Leo, here's shit. <laughs> I'm too I'm too concentrated on my blood. Fine. Here's, oh wow. Lily doesn't hear much either. I'm whispering to my sister the whole time saying. Which is sad because blood. Lily rolled better. <laughs> <laughs> she got a one, two, three, and Leo got a two one one. <laughs> so um Nailed it. Grimmel. As you are as you are traveling down the road, uh, you notice ahead of you that there is a um, sharp curve in the road. Um, the area you're entering has um, raised land to your right hand side, and then like lowered lowered land to the left. So you have you have hills to the right, and then like a gully, ditch, ravine type thing to your left, making it, um, making the road very narrow, uh, and difficult to, uh, be difficult for, for two parties to, to traverse it. Um, and ahead of you, you hear the telltale sounds of a firearm being discharged. Okay. Um, uh, which Ernest also hears the firearm, but Grimolf, uh, along with the firearm, you hear, um, several, 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 like a, ca- a cacophony of voices, um, not making any sense, just making noise. Uh, Grimolf is kind of gonna, uh, sit up and, uh nudge the rest of his comrades awake and tell them to be quiet and and Mm -hmm. kind of Mm -hmm. listen and hopefully they can catch the the ruckus okay so um tom listens he keeps the wagon going forward on the on the trail and um as you draw closer to this curve in the road uh you do begin to hear the noises you hear another discharge of a firearm um you hear several several voices uh some frantically yelling in a language you don't understand um you hear others yelling in um, a language you do uh Indicating that they need to continue protecting uh, the Kingmaker. The Kingmaker? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, Is it dark out there right now? Uh, no, it's probably maybe just past midday on your, on your fourth day. Should we uh, have the cart come to a stop and uh, investigate on so. foot? I think we should. I agree. Okay. Well, we should probably tell the filthiest of us to go scout, because uh, I don't want to leave the kids alone with the, you know... You know who? Think of the children from the impressionable youth <laughs> from such a ragtag bunch of artists. 
are you are you trying to are you trying to like hush hush to whisper this to everybody else? I'm I'm just saying, you know, maybe it's a good idea that we scout ahead before we Are you, you know, saying this in character baggage. though? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling the group, you know, I think it's better if we scout ahead before we leave the wagon. And did you mention the ragtag bunch of entertainers? I said, well, you know, I, I feel like for the protection of the children, we should make sure that to proceed is safe. <clears throat> um, Sam pipes up at this point and says, well, I hear what's going on and I'm not going up there. My troop and I, and I'm sure, and he's, he's caught Tom's name by now, he's like, I'm sure my troop and I and Tom can keep an eye on the kids, and, uh, should anything come near us, haul ass out of here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not much of a fighter either. Um, and believe it or not, uh, Gar over here is, uh, couldn't hurt a fly, so maybe we'll stay here. Uh, and, uh, we'll, we'll send the, the elves, the sneaky elves, to, um, scout ahead. Ah, suit yourself. She's but, talking uh, about you, sister. I'm not the sneaky one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... If I heard correctly, it's a group protecting the Kingmaker, and, you know, might not be a good idea to let that individual come to any, you know, badness. I, so I wait for the wagon to stop, and then I hop off. It does eventually and then, stop, yeah. And then I wait for everyone to get off, me, Lily, and, um, okay. Grimmel. All right, uh, who's me, coming with us? Give me a second here. Grimmel, sorry. Yeah, uh, Grimmel is, is going to hop off the wagon and be ready to, to sprint onwards should there be some sort of alert sound. I, thing. I told him to be, need to be a little bit stealthy, and I agree with that. And then I start casting Shadows of Brace on us. Okay, so who's who's going where? So I follow Lily wherever Leo goes, because yeah. pretty much right. we don't go anywhere. Okay, so um, Leo's going? Correct? Right, and Lily and Grimal. Grimal. Okay. Okay, so I will put you put you guys on the map. Grimwolf. Thook. And Lily. Put you back there. And Leo. And of course we got uh we got Gar and Ernest staying back with the wagon. You guys can if you haven't already, you've rested several days, you can put maximum health in there for you guys. It's, uh, Gar, was Gar staying back with me? I was yeah. kind of hoping somebody that could swing a sword. Oh my god. Yeah, I got you. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> oh, baby, I just want to charge it. That's all I want you to don't do. know what's there! I know. I'm, I, this is me saying this. Yeah, yeah I, I know, I know. Uh, so, we got Gar, or I'm sorry, Grimolf, Lily, and Leo. Uh, you hop off the wagon, and you're immediately standing next to um, the raised hills, uh, almost cliff-like looking things to your right. They're about, uh, they're about uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 feet tall, depending. Um, and then to your left, you've got the, you've got the, the, the dips and the gully. Um, and then you hear a large group of of individuals yelling and screaming um, from your right. Oh, uh, because they're facing yeah. down. Right. Yeah. I tell everyone to quickly stay close and nearby, and I cast Shadows of Grey. So I can stealthily approach whatever okay. be beyond can that you, Can you cast that swing suit does? All right, so you do succeed. You deep in the shadows in a six yard by six yard area within thirty yards of you. Oh, it doesn't move with you though. It says of you, so it doesn't move with you. No, so it it can be within thirty yards of you, and you cover a six by six yard area. So it'd be a three by three square. No, a six by six square, but it doesn't move. 
it just covers that six by six square. Oh. And not knowing how far away th this incident is happening, it'd be hard to tell where you want to cast it. Interesting. So 30 is every square one yard? Yeah, every square is one yard. So I, I can cast it. Um, let's see. Never mind. It's you okay. guy. Okay. Elliot. So where would you guys like to go? Probably just kind of scamper and belly <laughs> up this hill and <laughs> go in the underbrush and, and peer out, probably. So you're going to try and scamper yeah. up the hill? Yes. Okay. Make a... Wait, you want to go up the hill? Make a, uh, make a st uh, strength climbing check, would you? Sure can. Eleven. Okay. Um, you, you pick a spot that is, um, <clears throat> the, like, closer to five feet, five to seven feet tall, um, and you, you do make your way up it, um, it's kind of steep, but it's not too bad, because it's only about five to seven feet tall, so you can, you can jump up, grab, and, and make your way up. It is still two times taller than I am. I mean, okay, you still make it up. It it wasn't it wasn't a super difficult climb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll say you went to right there, up on top. You picked a fairly <coughs> fairly short section. Okay. How how far up was it? Uh, where Grimoff climbed is about five to seven feet. Seeing okay. how Grimoff did it, Leo was like, "I can do that." And he does the same thing. Okay. Make a strength climbing check. And then he... <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Girl, how did you do it? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So you attempt to climb. Um, and you can, you can actually probably reach up and just give a little hop and grab the, grab the ledge. But you can't seem to, like, get purchased with your feet. So you're doing the weird, like, hanging there and, like, trying to get purchased with your feet to climb up. And finally, like, Lily... Uh, Lily, just make a strength, strength check for me, would you? Straight just up... A, I just did the strength climbing. Do, no, I know, but just do me a straight up strength check. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you're, you're, hanging, you're hanging by the ledge. Your feet are almost touching the ground. Um, but you can't... I just rolled my eyes, kind of remembering uh -huh. my brother and me, uh -huh. like... Yeah, this is when we used to mess around when we were kids. I'm like, ugh, always having to lift you up. Seriously, yep, brother. Yep. Like, walked... why do you always do this to yourself? Did, did you not pick up any strength while you were like in whatever you were doing? Lily <laughs> walks up behind you and like is like, oh god, I can't be able to do this. And she she like grabs you by the back of your thighs and like tries to hoist you up. <laughs> I, I told you, I'm not the stealthiest of. <laughs> I You're so embarrassing, God. <laughs> um, and she does. She picks you up, and then immediately climbs up behind you. And I'm assuming she gives you an eye roll, something. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> give like a large grin, saying, "I did it." <laughs> Grimmel, Grimmel would move there. Lily would come over here, and Leo's probably like <gasps> huffing and puffing at the top of that top of that thing. I'm like, shh. <laughs> Do we see through this or no? Uh, no, that's, some th that's pretty thick brush. Um, I mean, I can... That's that's where you'd want to cast. I know, right. but I, I probably wouldn't know that anything's over there. Can, can I tell would her Would we, more? at this point, hear another gunshot of any sort? Oh, yeah, like... you would have heard at least one more gunshot at this point. Okay. Okay, so I, I just cast, like, around the bend, right? So I'm going to cast it right around here. Okay. So you're going to center on that where your, where your thing is? Yeah. Because then we don't have to walk through the bridge. Okay, so if you center on that, it's going to go three this way and three that way. And I don't know, stupid thing. Uh, 
No, it shouldn't it be it's, six, it's by six, six. six by six. It's six by six. Yeah, it's but each square is a unit. Right, so six yards by six yards. Yeah. yeah. Six yards. Yeah. There we go. That should be like. Well, you said you're centering on that, so I didn't know where you were casting exactly. All right, so it should be like from there. Okay. Like so you want to you want to cover the entire brush. No, no, it's a six by six square. Six yard by six yard. And and one unit is one yard, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So six by six, right? So it's going to be that big wherever you put it. The red or the green? I can't tell. The red one. The red one I just drew. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't move it, but yeah. Okay. I can move it. Where do you want to put it? Uh, so if you just, yeah, I guess put right there. Yeah, that, but cover more down so we can walk down this way. Right there? Perfect. Yeah, that should be good enough, yeah. Okay. So, alright, so you cast your uh, your Shadow's Embrace so you guys can uh, <coughs> have better stealth. <clears throat> Where are you guys going to go? So does that mean I want to stealth now? You should uh, all stealth. Yeah, you should probably all stealth. If you want to. Come on! <laughs> uh, but you get a plus two bonus to that. <clears throat> oh shit, that's a nine though. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh man. I hate these proficiencies. What's the point of them being proficient if it doesn't even give you good rolls? <laughs> I, I disappear. <laughs> You have two stun points, though, in case that's helpful to you. <laughs> what kind of trucks are these? Or uh, what kind of thingies are they? What kind of stunts? Maybe exploration? Uh, I mean, there really wouldn't be a, a stunt to go with this. Some oh. things just don't stunt, because there's nothing to correspond with it. Yeah, but the exploration might be helpful, because you could still get, like, advantageous positioning. Yeah, yeah advantage positioning. <laughs> All right. But. I mean, I don't, I don't, it, it is a little bit weird. I don't know exactly what normal skill checks, if they can stunt or not. Oh, let's see, your exploration. Then you make your discovery from an advantage position of your choice up to two yards away from the place that would normally lead to your discovery with respect to the object of your test. That doesn't make any damn sense at all. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I mean... Fucking worded that. <laughs> a fifteen-year-old. We all know that. I mean, possibly. Um. So where are you guys moving to? This Leo is just kind of like moving around like a crazy person right now. And nobody can see me um, with my style. Grimmel is going you know right, of? right there. Okay. From right there, you still can't really see what's going on. Uh, but you do at this point hear another gunfire. I'll, I'll stealth like this is like a brush. You can like go in there, right? Yeah, you can go in there. Oh. Like, all right. From there, uh, Leo, you can see a shit ton of goblins uh, circling a a group of uh, humanoids uh, with a female. In the middle, holding a firearm, uh, she is also mounted on a horse, which is not on the map, because I didn't feel like putting a horse on the map. You want um, this girl? Right yeah. Okay. Yeah. She is mounted on a horse uh, with a um, rifle-type firearm. Is that the same woman who tricked us? No. <laughs> um, I, I slowly backed out, like here, and tell them... Um, we may need help. There is a lot of goblins. I'm whispering this. There's a lot of goblins yeah. over there. We may need backup. And Check I mean a lot. I mean like 20 goblins. But only 20 goblins. Uh, 
does not understand the word 20. Um, <laughs> it's, so uh, he is going I, I, to uh, take Vera off his back and have a wig of liquid courage from his uh, hip flask uh, <laughs> that was graciously purchased for him. And yeah, says, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> Three verse <first> twenty. <laughs> yeah, and all you did was hype up Gar. <laughs> I feel like there. Right, it's good to scream all. Oh. I, I, I sigh a little. Like this is not. Wait, do we anywhere. have any communication device or no? Nope. Or is it just between nope. me and Leo? Just between Only you and Leo. And Leo. Okay. <laughs> so, so I say I I will support from afar. And you guys can go ahead. <laughs> by support flowing. from afar. Do we want to get the other fellas? <laughs> when I say support afar, I mean I will contact the others. <laughs> <laughs> Useless, brother. <laughs> and stay at a safe distance. And stay at a very, very safe distance. I don't think we should do anything until we get the others. That's a lot of goblins. Where did Ernest go on this map? I moved up to put myself in the actual cart where I would be. Oh, you're under the cart for me. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Me too. Uh, oh, I can't right click myself. Okay, so it's, it's fine. I, I tell them to wait, and I will go get Gar. And there you go. Oh, he was under the cart. I was like, I don't see Ernest either. <laughs> what was Ernest doing? Was he reading a book under? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he's taking it's, a nap. I put the cart I on the map. I was tactically repositioning myself. I put the cart on the map layer. <laughs> So Leo will go down up to here, if he can, All and right. wave at Ernest and Gar. You're, you're doing the you're doing the two-handed. Hey, over here! Kind of like, kind of like whisper yelling. There's a shit ton of goblins. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Take out your little blade, Leo, Peter. And what then is what is Gar going like? What is... You want to go kill? <laughs> I get overly excited, to lick my lips, and I grab Ernest like, and bring him with me. While uh, oh, Gar, go get him. <laughs> while while Leo is doing this, what is Grimolf and Lily doing? I'm just watching the scene, waiting for the rest of the party to show up. What is Grimolf doing? He should make a distraction. Uh, Grimolf is talking to Vera. Huh? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> they, uh, you see, you get sharpened, and I get to take you nice places. <laughs> I oddly look over as I see him really, like, caressingly, like, lovingly yeah, caress Vera, and I'm just like, this is, it is so it is weird. weird. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is not not cool. I mean, I mean, for him it is, but for you not so much. All right, if everybody will go ahead and roll initiative for me. We have to have our token highlighted, correct? Correct, yeah. And this is the Dexterity Initiative skill check. Dexterity. And then I am just going to have uh, groups oh, of goblins go instead of, instead of trying to do freaking all of them, because that would be insane. Ooh. Uh, let's see here. Why can't I add you to the turn order? Oh, it's up there. Add to turn. Which is just a straight dex check for them. Seven, five, six, eight, ten. I'm going to change that name. Maybe. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to change it over here. Uh, North Goblins. And then South Goblins. You had a 10, North. Uh, South Goblins. Oh, you can probably move your token up next to me if you started off by me. <clears throat> and ridge goblins. Let me just change that name.
one first. <coughs> now add a turn. And then the soldiers. them one turn themselves and the kingmaker okay and sort descending all right so these self goblins get to go first um, and they just do what they've been doing. They continue attacking uh, the group. Um, the ones in the front line uh, swing all of their weapons in semi-unison. Um, they are using short swords. And they all swing their short swords at once. That's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six are at melee with folks. Um, you watch, or at least the ones that can see, uh, Lily looks like she's the closest one to see. Uh, she watches as two of the goblins, uh, towards you guys are able to connect, and, um, you can almost make out a grimace of pain on the face of the guards they are facing the goblins. Uh, the ridge goblins, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need a couple more dice. Uh, the Ridge Goblins all have, um, they have, like, a tube of spears next to them. Um, and Lily, you can kind of make out, uh, they all seem to throw their spears in unison. Uh, five spears seem to find their mark. Uh, though, um, they're not fatal wounds, like, you watch as spear tips uh, glance over shoulders, um, basically slicing the flesh open of anybody their their weapons can strike. Uh, this brings us to the guards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them are at melee. Stop moving! That's three hits. Four, five hits. Uh, you watch again um, as the guards go. Um, five of them randomly find, find purchase and are able to uh, strike down, or at least strike a goblin. Um, one goblin actually falls. Uh... Oh shit. <laughs> I got rid of the one that had self goblin on it. Damn it all. Pick the wrong one. We'll put another one that says self goblin there. Note to self. Don't do that again. They had. They went first. I think they had a 20. Uh, so one goblin falls there, another falls here, that one falls, and that one falls, which brings us around to um, the woman sitting atop the horse. Uh, she is currently uh, loading her, her firearm. Leo! Um, <clears throat> I tell them to follow me, and I go up. Oh, so I have a movement of... Uh... 13. I can move 13 squares. Yes. Right. So I move 1, 2, 3, 
three. Okay. Um, um, you can now, you can now, well, if you move one to your left, you can then see that goblin down there, but I think you can see the one standing in between the bushes. Oh, maybe I'll just stand up here then. Okay. That way. And then I see all these three. Uh, it's hard to make out the one that's on the far right just because there's some bushes in front of him. Uh, oh, but you do see them. those two for sure, yeah. Uh, and then I will, I will attack them. All right. With. I, with. Um. Is it undertow? Arcane blast. Arcane blast. All right. All right, so you strike... Which goblin are you striking? Oh, I will strike this guy. Okay, the far northern one. Mm -hmm. uh, with a 13 to hit. That does, in fact, hit. Oh, wait, nope, hold on. I was looking at the golem, not the goblin. <laughs> is it golem? No, there is not a golem, uh, but I was looking uh -huh. at the monster manual, and golem is the next creature in the thing. Uh, Goblin, 13. No, a 13 does not strike. Um, you cast your arcane blast out of... Is it is the quill your magic focus? Yes. Um, you cast the arcane blast out of your quill, and you watch as it, as it just sails by the right side of the goblin's head. Uh, the goblin turns back because something magical just whizzed by it uh, it turns back and sees you and makes a very guttural <laughs> sound um, and the the goblin the two goblins you can see turn back towards you I'm like I don't want to kill you either <laughs> oh no <Goodbye>. Lily <laughs> What can I do? <laughs> Probably save your brother. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> he has we haven't point. really fought in a while, so now I need to figure out what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is that problem. What to do, what to do. Leo's not really meant for fighting. <laughs> if I, like, stand here in this mist of that whatever my brother has, and I attack uh -huh. it, can I use it as a cloaking? As it, would it have disadvantage of attacking me? Um, okay, so the thing with the spell he casts is there has to be shadows available. Okay. Um, so you would have to stay within the brush. Oh, so it's not close enough for melee yet. Yeah, once you step outside the brush, you're out in you're out in daylight. Fair enough. <laughs> but if you have a ranged attack, I do. But as you know, buying bullets is very expensive. <laughs> yes, it is. But if that is the case, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that's what money's for. You make it sound like we're freaking like rich in money. We're noble <laughs> inside. On the inside, we're noble. <laughs> okay. So my range on my pistol is eight to sixteen. So I just have to go within that range. Um, it is within eight yards. Is going to be. I'll have to look that up. But within eight yards should be a normal attack. I'm gonna have to look up and see what the other one is, but I think um, I think you can't actually hit anything outside that range. Okay, me, just want to make sure. So I, me, it just has to be within, correct? Yeah, let me double. Let me double check real quick because sure. it's been a while since anybody's done a ranged attack like that. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man, I have to shoot from farther away, <laughs> like the back ones. Can't shoot anything near me. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What happens if you shoot too close? That's what I'm looking up. Oh. I think it's at disadvantage. Well, I don't... I'm pretty sure the system doesn't do disadvantage. Oh. But it is It is a weird... Um, 
other kinds of things there. <clears throat> uh, short range, long range. It's a pistol, you said? Short range is 8 yards, long range is 16. I, I think when we the last time we did like the beta thing with you, I don't think we found any short combat minuses. Yeah, so okay, so short range, if it's within 8 yards, so 8 squares, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> you attack normally. If it's within your long range, you attack with a minus 2 penalty. Uh, okay. Anything, anything outside that long range, it's just too far away, and the um, they're freaking flint loaders. <laughs> they're not that accurate. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you're within eight squares, it's a normal attack. With if you're outside of eight but within sixteen, it's a, within minus two. So you shoot, you draw their attention, and then Grimov beats the snot out of them in the trees. <laughs> well, we're hidden. Would they really know which direction the thing is coming from? It depends on if they're if they can see. Okay, fair enough. With their perception. Okay. Which one shall I choose? Shoot their eyes. Meeny, they won't know. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. I'm dead. They won't know either. Uh, you will have difficult seeing that one. This one? Yes. Because he's so close to that that ledge. That one oh, should be good with... Those are a... all... Okay, so they're slightly lowered because... Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but the one right right south of that one, you can see because there's a little there's a little uh, decline Open pathway. leading down. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if I could protect these other people. Okay, can I shoot that one? Where that arrow is ending at 8? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm going to shoot that guy. Okay. You do okay. that. Okay. All right, I'm going to do that. Him. All right. You, yeah. Okay. So all <laughs> I do is click on. That's the damage dice. So uh, how do I? No, it's just it just click on the dot. It's only one die. It's the one right next to the damage. It should. Yes? Yeah, it should just be the one okay. die. Because it should do your attack and damage at the same time. God. <laughs> so thirteen. Pew. Thirteen sadly does not hit. Uh, as you as you fire your pistola, did you you didn't happen to? Nope, you did not. Uh, you didn't um didn't stunt. As you fire your pistol at that one, um, the uh, the dude right next to him, the 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 guard next to him, raises a shield to block an attack from one of the southern goblins. And your bullet lodges in the wood of the shield. Dang. And he kind of takes a moment. And he's like, what the fuck was that? And he glances around and then returns back to what he's doing. All right, then. Uh, Ernest. There's not much. But, I mean, you've... you've uh, go ahead and make a stealth roll, too. Because you just shot a firearm. Uh, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see if the two goblins standing right there can see if the, where it came from. So you get a plus two, so it's t at the twelve. Shit. And that one didn't see. Need to move those dice out of the way though, so they don't get them mixed up. Stop spinning. Um. The goblin who had turned towards your brother. Makes a glance back at you, and if it wasn't for the brush uh, covering or, or distorting most of most of your your body, uh, and and most of your vision, you would swear he's looking right in your eyes. You think you've been spotted. Now it's Ernest's turn. Alrighty. So what I think I'm going to do, since I can hear combat going on, uh, but I don't yet quite know what exactly is going on, except that there is, in Lily's word, or in uh, Leo's words, a lot of goblins. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast Hands of Fate. Okay. But unfortunately, I fail. You did. Um, you go to cast your spell. And you can feel the power building in your hands, and there's almost a visual, um, like, charge building up. 
And when you go to cast, it, like, discharges very quickly and nothing seems to happen. Uh, so with that disappointment, I'm going to move my way over... Oh, uh, what's my speed? Nine? One, two, three, four, five... Uh, I'm gonna move myself over here to the wall. Okay. I'm gonna give a look back. I'm gonna give like the um, the two fingers to the eyes and the two fingers to the um, uh, to to the performers that we left in the cart. And before I leave, <laughs> I'm gonna tell the kids to uh, keep down. The the I'm watching you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like I'm gonna give the kids the rundown and be like, if we don't come back, just run back to town. <laughs> do you realize you're like four days out, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, do I have any anything left on me, money wise? No, you are completely fucking broke. You got rolled. <laughs> well, I mean, I still have. Uh, we still have the um, the group fund, I guess. But yeah. So I'm gonna tell them. You know, if you see goblins cresting the hill, you just you, you forget about these flamboyant people and you just make a run for it uh kids like okay and then i'm gonna move up to the wall as my failed spell and give a little curse okay all right that's all you got uh north goblins are gonna go i've got one two three four of them at melee so four of them are going to try to do stuff. Two of them succeed in striking the couple of the guards. Uh, drawing a little bit of blood. And then... No, I'm the wrong thing. This one's going to come up here. This one's going to shift into there. And they're going to do stuff. And they whiff. Grimoff! Oh, Vera's gonna love you so much. Okay, uh, with reckless abandon, Grimoth is going to come charging out of the brush, yelling some uh, incomprehensible dwarvish, and is going to swing at this goblin right here with okay. Vera All right. in a uh, a mighty cleaving motion. Okay. Thirteen. Son of a bitch. Thirteen does not hit. You guys are not rolling good today. <laughs> Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> um, you're welcome. Uh, and that is all uh, Grimolf can do. Um, unless there's a minor action. I don't know if he can take a minor action. He should still be able to take a minor action. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Um until the end of this round. Oh, well, that's stupid. I'm not going to do that. What were, you, um, what were you thinking about doing? Uh, I was going to guard up. However, that guarding uh, ends at the end of the round, which is... Oh, what the... Uh... Oh, I'm, I don't know why I'm asking what page it's on. I have it in the journal, don't I? Yes, you do. Uh, action, minor actions... You put your skills in, at a plus one or two, your choice to your defense until the end of this round. Hold on. Uh, however, okay. Uh, anything else that you? Oh wait, you moved. So that's your minor action. Never mind. Yep. I forget that movement is not a separate action in this system. Nope, I'm going to just stand there looking foolish. Alrighty, that brings us around to Gar. Okay. So, 11 movement. Uh, how do I ping again? Really bad at this. Just just click somewhere and hold your, hold your click. Oh, that's right. Can I, like, run straight through here? Um, you will have to make a climb 
check to get up that ravine wall. Okay. That should be no problem. So you say, have you seen how everybody's been rolling? <laughs> yeah, okay. That, yep. That'd be no problem. You, Absolutely not. <laughs> you take a running jump, um, grabbing the top of the, the ledge of the ravine and just, like, almost throw yourself over the ledge, hurling and propelling yourself forward. Uh, so that used, yeah, that that just used normal movement for you to get there. So I can move here. Yeah. Um, you were there. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, you could actually move, like all the way over there if you wanted, or even down there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. But I can, I can see Gar being like, "No, I see the first thing. I'm going to kill it now." Let's go like here. Is that what you said? Uh, I believe I said you could go. Let's double check. Yeah, you could get there. Awesome. All right. Uh. Cool. I'm going to start swinging at this one. Wait, I'm sorry. Which one? One more time. I was looking at my book. Okay, the, the north, one. the northern one. Gotcha. Yeah, he's coming up next, so you know. Since that's something I would know. <laughs> All right, go ahead and go ahead and swing away. Gar with hitting. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and it's four stun points. Oh, I gotta pull that up now. Let's see what we get. At. So that's uh, that is. Jesus. Yeah, I wanna know what stunt you wanna do first. All right, four <laughs> whole ones. Four whole stun points. Oh, dude, I uh, let's go. I want to use dual strike because I want to hit the other one as well. All right, go ahead and make. Uh, must be adjacent to you. Okay, yep, it is. Apply the test result of your original attack. Okay. All right, so you. Um, I'm actually gonna say you start with the one on the south. Okay. Uh, just for just for RP purposes, you charge into battle, just yelling and screaming. Um, and you, you run as far as you can, and you, like, backswing your two, or you, you baseball bat swing your two-handed maul like like a lefty into, into the goblin in the south, stepping past it and continuing the swing into the, into the goblin north of you, uh, dealing quite a bit of damage. So it was 14. Um, both goblins look like they've seen better days. And can I, can I, like, see Grimwolf okay from here? Uh, yeah. You can, you can kind of see him from around that little bush. I yell to him, that's quite the sexy sword you have there. An axe. Yeah. Axe. <laughs> Whatever. Grimo's like, don't listen to him, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a sword, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, that brings us back around to the South Goblins. I've got one, two, three, four, five still at melee. Um, as they all press forward and swing, only one seems to find their mark. Um, and this one's going to step up into this space and also take a swing <laughs> and miss the guards. Uh, the guards are seem to be fairly well trained. They all, like, move their shield in place when they need to. Um, they seem to definitely dodge the, the short swords of the goblins and, and just pretty much are doing not too shabby. 
brings us to the Ridge Goblins. Uh, uh, Grimwolf, the two that you struck are going to both turn towards you and look... Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Gar. Grimwolf's going to get his here in a second. <laughs> uh, Gar, the two that... Uh, Two that you struck, uh, they're gonna draw their short swords out. They're gonna they're gonna abandon their spears for the moment, and they're gonna take a swing at you. 10, 16, 21 to hit. Yeah, I think that that hits. And I got I got uh, five stunt points. So we're going to make that a lethal blow and add 2d6 to it. So for eight, eight points of damage, uh, minus whatever your um, armor rating is. Four. So four points of damage. <laughs> Weak. Hey, they're goblins, dude. Uh, the other goblin is going to do the same thing. It's going to drop its spear and ready its short sword and take a swing at you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen to hit. I just compare that to my defense, right? Uh, correct. Yeah, so it's eleven. So yeah, it hits. Okay. For six points of damage minus your armor rating. So two. Two points of damage. All right. Uh, the rest. Okay. The 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 goblin that Grimolf hit is going. Or yeah, Grimolf hit is going to do the same thing. Abandon its spears and draw the short sword out and take a swing at you. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty to hit. Yeah, hits. For for three points of damage. Deflected by my armor. All right, and the the goblin here uh, is like, what the fuck is going on? It's gonna turn, drop its spheres, grab its short sword, take a swing at Grimmel. Uh, Thirteen to hit. Thirteen hits. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Four points of damage. Absorbed by my armor, and Grimwolf is going to give the most evil grin that hopefully makes the goblin shit themselves. <clears throat> Alright. Um, they don't, because they're stupid. Uh, but this one, that had turned towards Leo that Leo had took a, took a shot at, is going to move up to Leo. Uh, actually, he's not. He's going to stay back here, and he's going to throw a spear at Leo. He's just going to throw a spear. He's going to be like, mm, fuck that magic, dude. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 to hit. Uh, yeah, it hits. For 7 points of damage, minus your, uh, minus your armor rating. Oh, my armor of 0? Okay. Ah, so it's, yes, it's 7 points of damage. Oh, thanks. So what happens when you're squishy and you leave your leave your own spell? That would help you out. <laughs> uh, the rest of the the three other goblins are gonna continue throwing their spears uh, at the guards. All of them, I mean, they're a little distracted because they're like, what the hell is going on down there? And they're glancing and like, they just blindly throw their spears. Like, what is what is going on? And like, just go everywhere. As a matter of fact, two of them almost hit their own, their own guys. Like, just whiff them straight down. Like, what the hell? Uh, guards come up. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many of those hit. Uh, those two hit... That one hits. Uh, so this goblin takes a little damage. And this goblin takes a little damage. And that goblin takes a little damage. Come on. Uh, why are you not doing what I want you to do? Thank you. 
and um, the woman on horseback uh, now loaded fires, um, and the goblin sees her pointing the weapon at them, and just barely ducks out of the way. Uh, Leo. Leo, like, he, he, he checks his quill, and he's like, is this working? Like, And he rolls up his sleeves and casts another magic at the goblin who who threw a spear at him. Okay. And that's Arcane Blast. And he goes like, ha-pa! Oh, man. He's like, I think this is broken. <laughs> and then he goes and hides. Can I move after I attack? Yes, because move is a minor action, so yes. And then I'm like, nope. And then I go back here. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, that brings us around to Lily. Your talisman is a quill, right, Leo? Yeah. You should you should definitely roll a calligraphy check because you try to like get the ink ready on a tree. You know, you draw circles. <laughs> <laughs> You scribble, you know, just make sure that the pen's still working. <laughs> it's like, is this working? <laughs> I'm, I'm crouched behind that tree. Yeah. Like, I'm riding on the dirt. This is so sad. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, Lily. <clears throat> Seeing that I don't want to use too much of my pistol, I will... Move next to Grim Wolf and hit that guy. Okay. So as you move, you ah, oh, come on. You uh, you belt, you tuck your pistol into your into your belt and and ready your morning star, and with. And you didn't get any stun points, Ernest. Alrighty. So what do I need to do in order to uh, scale this cliff? Uh, you may make a climb check. That's strength? Strength, yep. Climbing? Yep. Oh, goodness. Oh, all right. Yeah, you uh, you found the same spot that uh, the Grimmel did. Five to seven feet. You jump up, grab it, and you, you yeah, you do the same thing. Gar, did you Hello? need a running start, though? Oh, I need a running start? No, you didn't need a running start because uh, you're just like, mm, fuck it, boop. Hello? Hello? What happened? What? Oh, he's on the phone. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to attempt to cast um, Hands of Fate again. Okay. I want no whammies. Oh, thank you. Alright. Oh, I have six uses of that. Nice. Oh, no, sorry, I have six points to use. Yeah. Oh, seven points. Stun tie plus one. Okay. So, yes, you have seven points. Oh, I'm going to get a D8 out of my bag here. We can just... You can just do a... Uh, you can do a counter on your on your character token. Oh, can I? Yeah. Uh, I so if we go... We do that. Oh, neat. How do I adjust that? Uh, so you just go, go into your character token, and um, I think just hit... Yeah, you just hit the number you want. Actually, I don't even think you need the little little circle thing. Oh, it automatically gives you one. Uh, I see name, bar, bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, aura, aura. No, no, no. Just click on your token. Yeah. And the the joystick-looking one on the far bottom. Yeah. You click on that, you get the little options to put uh, icons next to your token. Yeah. This one has the red circle and a 7 on it. So you just you just select what you want, you hit the number 7. On your keyboard. There you go. Oh, neat. Yep. I did not know that. That's neat. Okay, cool. But yeah, you have seven uses, so go ahead and make it seven. There you go. Oh yeah, I can see where you wouldn't want red because it's a red bar. <laughs> you know. All right, that brings us to the North Goblins. They're going to go ahead and swing at the guards. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I... Oh, no, I didn't get stunned. Never mind. Sorry. No. Uh, 
the guards kind of come together and almost form a shield wall, uh, stopping the, the goblins' attacks. Uh, one goblin, however, is lucky enough to pierce in between two shields and catch the arm of one of the guards. Grimolf. All right, going to swing again at this one right there. Wait, the north, which one again? Sorry. Uh, this one. Oh, okay, the one... I'm going to make sure it's into an actual square. There we go. And nice. Of course I did not stunt. Of course not. But you did eight... You did some damage. And then as my minor... Um... I am going to aim which is a plus one uh, to my attack. And it doesn't specify that it's a ranged thing, or no? Uh, melee or ranged. Awesome. <coughs> there you go. Alright. Uh, Gar. Okay, well I'm going to finish off this uh, R Goblin. Alright. That just hits. And yeah. you get... You get three stun points. Uh, let's see. And you do finish off that R-Goblin, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll do a lightning attack then against the other <laughs> goblin that I hit originally to the south of me. Okay, make another... Uh, that one does require you to make another attack. Another attack? Yeah, lightning lightning attack requires you to make another roll. Okay, make a... Oh, it says... Another attack roll. Attack, alright. With the... Uh... Yeah, just click your maul again. Oh, okay. That hits, Holy too. Holy shit! You're kicking ass with that thing. I know, right? Good lord. Uh, and that, that hits, too. And that goblin also drops to the ground, uh, very much not moving. Excellent. Uh, that brings us around to the south goblins. They're gonna attack the guards. Can I still move? Yes, you can. Alright, where are we going to take some more chunks out? I want to move... Uh, so just to let you know, the, the, the ridge you were standing on is about a 10 foot drop down if you wanted to do that. I was going to go around to right here. Okay. Alright, yep, so... I'm good there. That's good. The South yep. Goblins, uh... Team up against the, uh, against the guards. Um, the guards attempt to follow suit of the of the northern ones and make a shield wall. Uh, however, two goblins find find their mark uh, in between shields. One goes high, one goes low. Uh, catching the arm of one of the guards and the other catches the leg. Uh, opening, opening the thigh up pretty good. Uh, ridge goblins! They're gonna do stuff. Um, the ones up here are like, oh shit! As Gar runs up to them. So they're going to... That one's going to drop... The one on the selfie is going to drop its spear and use its short sword against you. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to hit. Yep. For 5 points of damage. So 1 point. Yep. Uh, the one to your right, if you're looking south, is going to do the same. 16 to hit. Yeah. For 8 points of damage. Okay. And then the one there is going to continue hucking spears at the uh, at the guards. And miss. Uh, the ones down by Grimmel are going to attack him. Six, eight. 
13 to hit? 13 hits. Uh, is that with your... Oh, you... You, you aim. Never mind. Uh, for... 8 points of damage. Okay. And then the other one's gonna swing at you. Twelve to hit. Twelve hits. <laughs> For three points of damage. Armor absorbs it. All right, and the one that threw a sp oh, Leo moved. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. So he can't see you anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. gonna come around here, and it's going to look at Lily. Uh, and uh, <laughs> take a take a swing at you with his short sword. Fourteen to hit. Uh, Your defense number? It's, oh, yes, it did. What? Yeah, it hit. For five points of damage minus your armor rating. Okay, I just miss. I lose one. Okay. So that finishes up the, the ridge goblins. Uh, that brings us to the guards. The guards are all gonna continue fighting back. Hit, hit, hit. So it's three hits on the south side. And four hits on the north side. So this one's gonna take some damage. Jesus, thank you. That one's, that one's gonna take some damage again. That one's gonna take some damage. That one's gonna take some damage. Now on the north side, that one's gonna take some damage. And this one. And this one. And this one. That one. And the rider. Oh no, she's loading. Ha ha! Never mind. Leo. Um, Leo like to do a quick calligraphy check, just to see what he wrote on the dirt was good. Okay. It's under that. Make money, no whammies. Bam! God. <laughs> Is it nice? Um, you drew a very uh good stick figure. All right. Leo's frustrated. And then he you realize, and then you realize, you stuck the nib of your quill in the dirt. This is lame. And then he's gonna roll. Uh, here I'm gonna roll a d6. Uh, high or low? High. It was high. Uh, so. You clean the dirt off your quill, and you're like, oh, thank god I didn't fucking break anything. <laughs> Leo's not having a good day. He walks over here, and he's like, <coughs> you're gonna die. And then point at this guy. Maybe I'll try doing a shadow dagger instead. See? Okay. See? See if that works. Alright. Thirteen. Um, the spell succeeds, so you watch as a um, shard, like, almost like a uh, crystal of black energy, uh, bursts forth from your quill, um, and miss the goblin. Oh, wait, no, wow. no, 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 It hits. Because I, th I'm, I think spells just auto-hit. They're all, like, magic missile. Uh, I believe that is correct. I think that's the last, what we did the last time. It's why the damage doesn't scale well, because it always hits. Yeah, yeah. So, um... And it is penetrating damage. Which I, I haven't looked that up yet to see what the difference is. Which, of course, is not under penetrating damage. Hold on one second. 
damage. Page 35. 35, 35. Does that ignore armor class? It doesn't say, stupid book. I thought piercing or penetrating was half armor? No, the book actually does just doesn't say. Oh. Like weird. under like under damage, it doesn't list anything about types of damage. Oh, wait, there it is. Unless it's penetrating damage, in which case, skip this step. Okay. So that yeah, that's all the damage. It takes all four points of damage. Oh nice. Ugh, Leo size. Because it's penetrating. <laughs> <Booyah. coughs> so you watch uh you watch as this as this almost like eight inch long um shard of dark energy um shoots out from your quill and strikes a <laughs> strikes the goblin like in the back of the head. And can I can I heal myself? Nope. Oh, because I walked. Yep. Okay, never mind. Lily. Okay, can I now sidestep over here? Yeah, you can. <laughs> and then I will attack the goblin that my brother just. Okay. Okay. Let's hope it works. Does thirteen just hit, or is it? Dang it! That's I missed gonna... again. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give her a point. Because it's a 14 to, uh, to hit, right? Yes, and she also got three stun points. So she gets a point. All right, so um, you swing to attack, and you you think, oh shit, I'm gonna miss, but then you feel something almost guide the Morning Star into the shoulder of the goblin striking it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you also get um, stun points on that, so three stun points. What would you like to use them on? Uh, nope, that doesn't help. Why did I click on magic stun points? Because I'm a big dumbass. Okay, um, can I actually do rapid reload to actually have my pistol ready? Yes, I will let you do that. And then, uh, well, I guess before I do that, I'll just do Mighty Blow for an extra 1d6 on my attack. Alright, roll a 1d6. Okay. Five more points of damage, nice. All right, so you you hit him, uh, quickly putting up your Morning Star and then going into a rapid reload of your pistol. Okay. All right, Ernest. Hmm. So I'm going to. Uh, can I see through the brush enough to aim at that goblin? Um. It would be very difficult to aim at that goblin. Uh, just because of the brush and Lily kind of being right there. Okay. I mean, you could see Lily's telegraph movement to see that she was going to miss. Um, you'd have to get eh, probably a couple yards closer. Already? Uh, five. So if I'm, like, here, okay, will I still be able to hit the goblin without... Yeah. While still benefiting from the shadowy shadowness of shadows? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Arcane blast for the win. Um, do I have to roll the the attack rolls and the skills, right? Uh, no, just hit the arcane blast in your weapon. It shall automatically roll on attack roll. <laughs> okay. Bump, bump. Unfortunately, an eleven does not hit. Yes. That's it. <laughs> So it's you know it's the trees they're in my way I couldn't get a good angle on them. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna say Leo cursed you. I mean, uh, yes, it's the trees. <laughs> the cools aren't working today. North. That's north, what happened. North goblins. Uh, one north goblin gets his sword through and strikes a guard very gently 
in the leg. Uh, Grimolf. And actually, that that guard is dead. Uh, well, we get that uh, same goblin again. Nah, he's he's not dead. He's on. He's not looking healthy. He is gonna be on the ground. Uh, pass the fuck out. Thirteen to hit. Uh, thirteen does not hit. Ernest, you want to help me out here, buddy? <laughs> uh, yes. I oh, do. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You took aim, right? You're right. I did. Ah, oh, so that makes hit. it a fourteen, and that does hit. Which one are you hitting again? Uh, I'm going to hit uh, this one. Okay, so with a fourteen, um, you take Vera, and you like cream back as far as you can with his axe and slice cleanly through the neck and you almost thought you missed until the body falls over taking the head with it and the head just kind of like rolls down uh, into into the group of goblins uh, down below you do okay. have two stun points I think yeah, you, you do. can move yourself um Let's see. I am going to. You could skirmish and move yourself into a better position. Uh, I saw that. Um, let's see. I am going to. I guess protect Lily by doing a threaten against uh, this one. And I am also going to, as my minor, uh, aim again. Okay, you're going to threaten this one? Uh, actually, this one. Okay. Um, and I think it said something about what that what they have to do. Yeah, I think they have to attack you or some crap, don't they? Uh, no, we... Um, my intimidation versus the target's self-discipline. Okay, go ahead and make an intimidation check. Self-discipline's under willpower, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Ooh, Six, nice. Seven, eight. I got a nine. <laughs> All right. What does what does this do for you? Um, basically, they have to attack me. Okay. Yeah, he's mad at you. He's super pissed at you, Grimoff. How fucking um, dare you, you asshole! And it, I'm, I'm just—they're just basically just seeing this blood dripping off an axe, and just for some reason they feel loyalty. The guy I just cut in half. Maybe it was his lover. We don't know, <laughs> but he is very pissed off at me. It's always a possibility. It's always a possibility. Okay. And that'll be it. Uh, Gar. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna attack. Surprise. I know, right? This guy here. Okay, the one closest to you on your left, on the left of your little uh, icon. Yes. All right, go, go after it. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no! But you have two stun points. I'm not sure what to do with it. <laughs> That is a first, man. Yeah. Ew. I think I'm going to quit now. I give up. I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, what can I even use the two stun points for? Um. Uh, you can move yourself uh, up to two yards, or an enemy up to two yards. You can... Um, you Before also you. could use a defensive stance. Sure. I might do that. I can't knock prone, right? Because I didn't hit. No, because you didn't hit it. All right, defensive stances. That'll give you a plus two to your defense uh, uh, until the beginning of your next turn. Perfect. So we will give you a orange one with a plus two. Okay. All right, that brings us around to the self goblins. However, I would like everybody... To make a perception hearing check. Oh, 
Leo, you lucky bastard. Grimoth is too far into the bloodlust to hear anything. Yes, he is. Wow. Grimoth, Grimoth just hears the, his own heart beating in his ears as the blood rushes. Well, what about that again? Do, do I hear Master calling after me? No. Uh, no? What you hear, <laughs> and this is actually where I'm going to stop it this evening, uh, what you hear is very heavy sounding footfalls from the north, almost directly behind you. Foo. 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 Um, and, um, let's see here. Yep, Grimmel still doesn't hear anything. Ernest. Lily. Gar. Um, Gar, you can hear um, from below you, you hear one of the guards yell out, Mistress! Something big is coming! And that's where we're gonna stop. <laughs> Just Sweet. because it's, it's late, late and I'm, I'm tired. <laughs>